Eric Hatsu here with Coach Edgar Hustle, uh, trainer uh, Andy Ruiz. Coach, uh, tough fight tonight. You guys got a draw when you really feel you won with uh, Oscar Negrete. Of course, like, you know, like the other two fights, I mean, I think the, the first one was uh, the closest one. I think we, we came here to Texas and, and we did what we had to do. I mean, even the people seen it, you know, I think we, we, we won this fight again. Would you want to see him fight him for a fourth time? Oh, of course not. I think the, that they both deserve something different, you know, to, to go their own path and, and do something better, you know, for themselves. Definitely. Now, Coach, what do you make of this whole uh, matchroom boxing said that the fight's set for Saudi Arabia? What's your take on it? I mean, you know, there's a lot of things said right now, so, you know, nothing's concurred yet, so, you know, we're just going to wait and see what's going to happen. Now, Andy said on his social media he wants to come in a little fitter, a little slimmer. What do you think about that? I mean, I think, uh, you know, obviously he's going to come in way better shape. You know, we're, we're actually going to now have a training camp just for Joshua. I know when before we, you know, we got ready for the other, the, the other fight that he fought before Joshua. And then, uh, you know, it was a short camp for, for Joshua. So obviously, I don't know about being, you know, a lot fitter, but he is going to be a lot stronger. Uh, you know, in a better shape, so with a better game plan. So I think that's that's. Good. What do you make of the idea that uh, Anthony Joshua might come in a little bit more cautious, knowing how dangerous Andy is? Is that going to affect how you guys approach the fight? Oh, of course not. If he if he's a little bit more cautious, we're just going to jump on him again. So you know, I I honestly think that uh you know with the speed that Andy has and and just keeping close to him, I think. There's gonna be, it's gonna be a great fight. It's gonna be a great fight. And I was just talking to Coach Manny about Andy was able to work to the body very well in that sixth round. Something that AJ hasn't really seen. Quick hands going to the body. He's able to do what he wants in there. Do you see the fight going the same way? No, I mean, of course. I mean, you know, we're, we're gonna come in with a with a great grain plan. You know, we're gonna work the body. That's obviously one one of the good things that that Andy has and. Obviously, you know, to start slowing AJ down. I mean, obviously, you know, we know for a fact that AJ is going to come, you know, in, in way better shape and with a different mentality. But we're going to be ready, man. It's going to be a great fight. Cool, Coach. And I just want to get your idea of if Andy stays and wins and keeps the titles, what do you think about a mega fight against Deontay Wilder for Undisputed? I mean, why not? I mean, that's, uh, you know, that, that's what uh, everybody is looking for, right? I mean... Why not take over the whole heavyweight division? We All we need is one more belt, and Dante Wilder is there, and it'll be an easier fight to make because they're both promoted by uh, Al Heyman. Coach, last question. If Andy wins in this rematch, what will this do for his star power? I mean, you know, he already made history. You know, he already shocked the world. I mean, obviously, another win is, is just going to make it a lot better. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, uh, you know, just, just keep it. Stay in the moment, keep your feet grounded, and keep working. That's all we, we expect from him.